Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Room 9. It's Dr. Sanders, and I'm here again to help you with some pre-K and K math and ELA here in the biggest classroom in the region, <laughs> in the largest classroom in the region, and we're here to have some fun. Some what? F-U-N, fun. That's right, and remember, I'm, it's for pre-K and K, but it doesn't matter how old you are. You can be two or 102, or one of my friends who sent the email to me, He's only, she's only one and just enjoys listening. You're going to have some fun. Let's take a look and see what we're going to talk about today. Um, uh, Missouri Learning Stand is up there, but we will retell stories from beginning to end. And we will measure objects using non-standard. Oh, we will measure objects using non-standard tools. I'm sorry. We will measure objects using non-standard tools. All right, you ready to get started? Okay, let's get it started. Let's get it started with some counting. We're gonna count on a number chart. We're gonna count together today. We're gonna go count from zero to one hundred by ones fives and tens are you ready all right we'll count just a little faster to make sure we have some time for all our fun stuff so you ready warm up your voices la 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 you ready okay let's count you ready zero one two Oh, you know what? I have to take off my hat, don't I? You're right. That Adams Elementary hat. Let me take my hat off. That's right. Makes me more. I'm ready now. I'm really ready now. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 40. 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Woo. Woo. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 90, <coughs> 5, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now we're going to count by fives. Let's go. Remember, fives is just like one of those patterns, right? In, or adding by fives. Let's go. Zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five. 100! 
Ooh, you all are getting good by counting by fives. Good at counting by fives. All right, let's count by tens to 100. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100, 100, 100. Oh, y'all know they do the dance, the 100 dance. 100, 100, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 100. Oh, make up your own dance. Let me send me a picture of it. All right. Let's look at my friends' names, and we're going to count their letters today. We're going to count their letters today. Whose name is this? Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Let's count his letters. One. Two, three, four, five. Lucas has five letters. Thank you for watching, Lucas. And whose name is this? Andy. Hey, Andy. Let's count Andy's letters. One, two, three, four. Hi, Andy. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and whose name is this? Naomi. Hi, Naomi. Let's spell Naomi. I mean, let's count her letters. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, Naomi. And whose name is this? Kaiser. It's Kaiser, not Kaiser. Let's spell, let's count his letters. One, two, three, four, five. And whose name is this? Savannah. Let's spell, uh, let's count Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Let's count Savannah. Let's count the letters in her name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She has eight letters in her name. That's a lot of letters. She has more letters than Kaiser, right? Because Kaiser only had one, two, three, four, five. She had eight. So she had more letters. Some people have lots, lots of letters. Some people... Like Miss Andy, she only had four letters. But does it matter? No, it doesn't matter how many letters you have in your name. You're still so special. And you're watching me. All right. Um, measuring. Measuring with nine. Let's do a little measuring, okay? Let's see. Yesterday, we measured the dollar bill with magnets, remember? Today, we'll measure this dollar bill real quick with these blocks. Do you have these blocks at home? If you don't, it doesn't matter. You might not have these blocks, but we're going to measure the dollar bill using these blocks. So if we have the dollar bill right there. Do I have enough? No. Let's see. Let's put a couple more on there. Do I have enough yet? No. I need one more. I think. Now let's see. Yes, so we can measure it. We can count to see how many blocks long the dollar bill is. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. The dollar bill is about eight blocks long. Look at this nice cup I got from a friend of mine. Now, let's see how tall this cup is. Let's see how tall this cup is. So I, we already knew it was eight because I just added on. How many blocks tall is this cup? Let's see. Can you see me? Can you see all the blocks? Here we go. So you see, I have my little cup or my little plastic bottle. And then I put blocks next to it. So let's count how many blocks tall my bottle is. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So my bottle is twelve blocks long. Hmm. How else could I measure my bottle? Let me see. What do I have? Ooh, look. I have some markers, right? So maybe I can see how tall my bottle is using markers. 
So I have one. Ooh. So is it exactly two markers long? Is it exactly two markers long? Tall? No, it's about two markers tall, right? So you can use a lot of things to measure. I use my markers. What about if we use, hmm, what else have we used? Oh, magnets. I have a bunch of magnets, don't I? So let's do, we had the purple magnets, right? So instead of purple, let's see how many blocks long or blocks tall the bottle is using the blue magnets, the blue big magnets, the blue tall magnets. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. We'll start at the bottom since it's at the bottom. Oh my goodness, things are falling all over the place. Let's see. Oh, this. Let's see. Is that, that's about right? Is that about right? Yes. So we can, now we can count them. I had to, I can count on now how many blue magnets tall, how many big magnets is it tall as the bottom? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Do you think it's, it'll, it's more yellow or more blue magnets tall? The blue ones are bigger. So let's see. Let's measure them with the yellow ones. Let's look. See, the yellow ones are a little smaller than the blue. I think it'll be more, I think it'll be more yellow to make, to see how tall the bottle is. So let's see. We know the bottle is eight. So let's put our, let's put our magnets down for our, our yellow magnets down. I hope I have enough. Did I have enough? Well, we already know that it's eight blue ones, right? So we can stop right here because that means it's about that many yellow ones. So how many yellow tall is the bottom? Let's make sure it's the same height. Yep, it's about the same height, right? So let's count the yellow. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Eight yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six blue. So it was more yellow because they're smaller. They're smaller. That's why it was more yellow. All right. Um, boys and girls, you've been sitting along. We're gonna measure all night long. We can see how how tall Dr. Sanders' head is using markers. How long it is. Very long, isn't it? It's about two markers long, right? Oh, no, do I need some more? Yes, but we can use different things to measure, and we'll do that all week. Okay, everybody, stand. Reach for the sky. Wiggle your fingers. Hands out. Let's roll. Uh, let's. Go forward 10 times, you ready? Counting up by 10s so or adding one each time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go backwards 10 times. Or oh, actually, let's count down back from 10. Subtract one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's our uh, raise our shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's jump up and down four times. One, two, three, four. All right, all right. Now, let's sit down on three. One, two, three. Up, down, up, down. Sit right down on the ground. You ready? You all ready? Okay, what I want you to do is I would love for you to get a sheet of paper and 
make three different columns. Make three different columns. And these columns are going to be beginning, middle, and end. You don't have to write that. But as we talk about the sequence of stories, that's how they, how sequence is how things work, right? How they go in order. As we read this book, what I want you to do is you're going to draw a picture of what happens in the beginning. You're going to draw a picture of what happens in the middle. And you can draw a picture of what happens in the end. And then your parents can take a picture of it. They can um, tag nine network in it, whatever they want to do. But you already know the book. The book is The Ninja Bread Man. The Ninja Bread Man. So as we're listening, because you heard this book already. If you didn't, you can listen. But think about what happens in the beginning, the middle, and the end. All right? So in the beginning, I already know what happens, don't I? But this is the spine. This is the back cover. And this is the front cover. And the author of this book is Katrina Charman. And the illustrator is Fabiano Fiorin. The author does what? The author writes the words in the story. The Ninja Bread Man. And we're reading this with permission from Crabtree Publishing. Here we go. Once upon a time in a small house in the forest, a lonely man decided to make a friend. So he baked a gingerbread ninja. A ninja bread man. But when the ninja bread man turned golden brown, he jumped up and ran out the door. Stop! Yelled the old man chasing after him. But the ninja bread man kept running, shouting, Kapow! ay -ya! And Shazam! You can't catch me. I'm the ninja bread man. Along the path, a hungry pig was sniffing for acorns beneath the mud. He saw the delicious ninja bread man and shouted, Oink, 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 oink. Stop! I want to eat you. The ninja bread man twisted out of the way, singing, Kapow! Aya! And Shazam! You can't catch me. I'm the ninja bread man. At the edge of the forest, a herd of cows grazed in the field. One of them, moo, spotted the yummy ninja bread man and squeezed through a fence. Moo, stop. I want to eat you, the cow cried. The gingerbread man rolled right over the cow's back. Kapow! hi -ya! And Shazam! You can't catch me. I'm the ninja bread man. Far, farther down the hill, a flock of chicks pecked at the ground looking for grain. One by one, they smelled the ninja bread man as he whirled and twirled towards them. Stop. We want to eat you. They rushed toward him and with their hungry beasts wide open. But the ninja bread man backflipped over them. Kapow! ay -ya! And Shazam, you can't catch me. I'm the ninja bread man. He just chuckled as he. <laughs> then he reached a deep, wide river. Wide means really open, right? 
he searched for a way to get across without getting soggy. What happened if he's getting soggy? Yeah, she could fall apart, right? Like when you dip your cookie in a glass of milk. Yes, exactly. A crafty fox was watching. I'll help you cross the river, he said. Just climb onto my back. Yo, the old man who finally caught up. I can teach you how to jump in one single bound. The ninja bird man laughed. <laughs> I don't need help from anyone. I'm the ninja bread man. He took a flying leap, but missed the bank, landing on a drooping tree branch. To his surprise, the old man leaped across the river, grabbing the ninja bread man's arm and taking him safely to the other side. Look at the ninja bread man with the old man. Wow, gasped the ninja bread man. Can you teach me those moves? The old man nodded. Soon, the ninja bread man was the star of ninja school. He learned how to jump across rivers and avoid hungry foxes. Ooh, did you like that story? Yes. Do you have some? You can still you can still take time to finish drawing your picture. Finish drawing your picture, and if you don't have time now. When we get finished, when you when we get done with this, when you get done listening, you get finished, John. I would love to see some of those pictures, and maybe I can hang them up behind me. Maybe I can show them on screen. I'll draw my picture, and maybe I'll show it to you tomorrow. Okay? Remember, what happened at the beginning? We can talk about it. What happened in the beginning of the story? Right, the ninja, the old man baked the ninja bread man, and he hopped out of the oven. So maybe I can draw a ninja bread man or an oven, right? And then I'll be able to tell my story. The old man baked him, and and then in the middle, what happened? He ran from all the animals, right? Yes. So he ran away from a cow, a pig, some chicks. Did he try? He tried to hop over the river, right? Oh, that's yeah, that's at the end. You're right. So what I want you to do is I would love to see some of those beautiful pictures, beautiful those drawings, as good as you can do it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's your work. That means it's whatever your work is, it's good. It's good enough for me. I hope it's good enough for you. All right. I'm glad you are still here listening to me. What we are going to do now is we are going to go over our sight words for the week. And we're going to use them in a sentence. And then we'll see where we are. So here we go. What word is this? She. She. She is watching Dr. Sanders on TV and laughing. <laughs> Let's spell she. She. S-H-E. She. All right. And what word is this? That, that, that is an amazing thing to do. It's that. Let's spell that. That. T-H-A-T. -T. That. And what word is this? My. That's right. I heard a bunch of people say my. Let's spell my. My. M-Y. My. And what word is this? On. Let's spell on. On. O N. On. Let's read our sight words one more. Oh, I forgot one word. What word is this? Have. Do you have anything you would like to give to my friends? I would love to have everyone have a wonderful 
month have all right and well we forgot to spell have didn't we let's spell have have read it spell it h a v e have another thing boys and girls is this month last week we were very thankful for our soldiers this week um this whole month i want you to remember to be thankful for what you have what you have it doesn't um we, we're in the holiday season. Holidays are coming up. And it is important that you are thankful for whatever you have. If you have just your hands, just to clap, 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 you should be thankful that you have your hands to clap, clap, clap. Because guess what? Some people don't have their hands to clap, clap, clap. If you're able to watch Dr. Sanders on your iPad or your TV screen, you should be thankful for that. As we continue to be in this holiday season, we have to be remember for be thankful for what we have, and also not only to be thankful, but also to be giving. So, to be giving. So, we enjoy getting things all the time, but we also say, you know what, my friend may not have that, so maybe I should give him this. So, as we continue to be in this season. I think next week is Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving is coming up. Be thankful for what we have, but also be thankful to be able to give something to you, to somebody. I am so thankful that I'm able to give myself to you all on Nine Network. What are you thankful for? I want you to start thinking about that. And what are you going to give? I want you to start thinking about that as we go on. It's time to go. I am thankful for being in room, for teaching in room nine. Let's spell nine. N-I-N-E. Nine. The room, region's largest classroom. Thank you. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.